uh, during the, the evaporation and the concentration of your uh, extract, uh, you might uh, found sometimes uh, not a uh, powder. Yeah, you might found an oily, uh, an oily phase. Uh, and this time, uh, you need to check. You have to try to crystallize. Uh, if you can crystallize your um, extract, it will be better. Uh, if you can use the hexane or the, the ether petroleum, uh, it depends. For example, if you have uh, um, a polar fraction and you have a polar crude extract, you have prepared it and uh, it's still stuck in your flask, as you can see here and also in this example. Uh, it seems that you have uh, it is viscous. It is not. Um, it is not enough dried, uh, and here in this case, in order to uh, to make it more practical, you have to try to crystallize it. You can crystallize, as I said before, uh, by using a solvent which is not um, which cannot dissolve your. Uh, crude extract. For example, here I have a methanolic extract. I can use hexane or the ethyl petroleum, and I have to uh, try to scratch the flask and to introduce the solvent between the, the crude extract. And uh, if I can have um, a crude extract, uh, I'll evaporate the solvent and I'll recover it. It will be more practical if I would like to operate with it. Um, during the next sequence. If not, if I cannot, you can try to, if you can, uh, if you can make some filtration. So this is a powder. This powder is more practical than the oil, okay? So you need to try, this is the more important, if you if there is no way uh, so you will uh, keep it as is it um, you will keep it uh, as a viscous one even if it is not uh, good when you are up operating with a chemical reaction or you would like to make some activities but if you can find some powder like that this is the best thing if you cannot so you can keep your oily uh, sample